Yes, it's Real Flash TV once again on this grounds for real estate news. You can't hide out there somewhere. We know you are. We know you've got an opinion. We know that you want to talk about your real estate agent and we want to know. <laughs> My name's Scott from Real Flash TV. This is a genuine attempt to walk around the Gold Coast and find out what people think about Gold Coast real estate agents. Just what people think of Gold Coast real estate agents. They annoy us dropping stuff in our letterbox. Do you get much stuff in your letterbox? Yeah, I love junk mail. I go through it every week. Love it. Some of them come out with pretty good stuff. Yep. You get one each week that has jokes on it and whatnot. Always read that one. What's the most important information you would like in your letterbox from a real estate agent? I like reading what the prices are, the local prices, see what my house then's going up for. And... Have you ever gone out with one? <laughs> no, I wish. You look pretty good. My wife actually loves junk mail. Do you have do not put anything in this letterbox on your box? No. Some of the stuff we like, but real estate we don't. Where are you from again? North Wales in the UK. There are others who are shonks. So do they put a lot of junk mail in letterboxes in Wales? Yeah, we get loads all the time. So what makes a real estate agent a shonk? Well, a con artist. You put it in the bin? <laughs> yeah. This is a new prospecting tool we're using. It's called Real Flash TV. <laughs> in other words, he wants to screw us. <laughs> Would you like to sell it? No. Would you like to sell your property? No, no, no. Hello. Would it be improper to ask if you want to sell that? It's my mum. <laughs> be ready in 10 years' time. Do you want to sell your house? Thanks. If I can help you with any real estate matter, please don't hesitate to call. Thank you. You wouldn't mind giving me your number, though, would you? Because I would not give you my number. Let's move on. What do you think about the mail in your letterbox that comes every week? Had enough of it. It's too many trees are getting cut down. We don't want to know if he's made a squillion out of selling the bloke's house two streets away. We've done it again. So what? So you throw most of it away? So do you have uh, internet at home? Yes. Would you like to get some emails from Major? No, no way. No way. No. 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 You haven't given me your name, have you? I'm Scott from Real Flash TV. We're a brand new, innovative, very, very modern, fantastic internet-based TV show. Am I the first real estate agent you've met? Uh, noise. Uh, this is uh, real noise. Ocean noise. What's, uh, what's mean that? <laughs> I don't understand that question. Okay, um, excuse me. What do you think of Gold Coast real estate agents? Is there a time that you're available uh, either tomorrow or the day after to have a look at your house? They're very good. And I bought uh, my unit from uh, uh, your agency. Oh, from Ray White? Mel, Mel Pendo, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's a good man. He's agent, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's from, uh, he's uh, my country uh, friend. Yeah, he's a... And I bought uh, the, my unit by him. He's at Ray White Broadbeach. That's $5. Thank you, Gary. Yeah. My name's Scott from Real Flash TV. Is my nose big? Is my nose big? What do you think about auction properties? Hate them. There must be some price you'd consider selling, though. I am very happy with with your agency. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank now you. that $50 note's just up there behind the towel. Thank you very Thank much. You. I hate auctions. <laughs> Can you, how many times do you want me to say it? Hate, hate. You'd sell for a million? But I thrive on rejection. If you're available, I can just come around and have a look and discuss the various methods of sale. <laughs> so you perceive that there's a lot of agents? Yes, one on every street corner, basically. Right down to the last minute, they're trying to get the most out of the person whether or not they can afford it or not. They were going up in $5. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, have you been to schoolies week yet? Any minute now I'll be buggering off. What you're doing is a huge public service. I don't want any of that, thank you, no. Okay. Thanks, have a great day. No, can't help, okay. And while I've got you here, can I help you with any real estate matter? <laughs> I've just been put on hold in my own office. I hate that. G'day mate. You know what I find amazing walking around the Gold Coast? I can walk down here with a tie, a camera, and no one even looks. They think I'm normal. Can we just talk to you quickly? What do you think about all the things you get in your letterbox? Um, mostly a load of crap, basically. Can, but, can you uh, say that a bit louder? A load of crap, basically. And Oh, we get lots and lots of crap about, um, do you want to sell your house? We've got no interest in selling a house. Yep. So I think if they put less crap in the letterbox, they could charge a bit less on the fees. But Yep. I didn't quite hear then. Did you say you'd like to sell your house? No. Come on, just a quick one. Oh, sorry, I was just emptying my car out. Thank God letterboxes don't sign contracts. <laughs> hey, can I, I just ask you another question. Do you get much stuff in your letterbox down at the Central Coast from real estate agents? Uh, quite a lot, yes. And what do you think about it? Oh, I'm happy, yes. Uh, I think it, it uh, keeps us abreast of what's happening in our area anyway. 
Stop prospecting letterboxes and start prospecting people. Would you like to ask me a question about anything? About anything that goes on in there behind the scenes or anything like that? Yeah, why do you charge so much money? How difficult is it to sell property here? Uh, well, it's, if it's at the right price, it sells all day. Have you got something you want to sell here? Do they put a lot of stuff in your letterbox down there in Melbourne? Free quotes, that sort of thing. Come and have a look at your house and give you an up-to-date mark and appraisal, I guess. Here's my card. If I can help you with any real estate matter, please don't hesitate to call. But you talk about around the kitchen table or anything about real estate on the Gold Coast? Uh, that it's becoming incredibly overpriced for, um, in a lot of areas. Do you think your street's overpriced? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? <laughs> and are you more likely to employ an agent you've known for 12 months or one you've known for 12 days? Oh, probably one I've known for 12 months. If we narrowed it down to real estate, what's a good piece of junk mail from a real estate agent and what's something you, wouldn't, you don't like in there? Uh, magnets, Mag the calendars that the real estates do with the magnet on it, that would be good. And... Um, Bad would be when they're trying to ask you if you want to sell your house. <laughs> but by the way, would you like to sell your house? No, I do not. <laughs> Maybe if you gave me your address, I could refer you to a good agent in Wales. Name Brookdale Avenue, Connorski. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Expect something in the mail. Let's document my, um, my real flash day one, take one experience. A lot of people have a common problem, which is what's put in their letterboxes. Somehow real estate agents have to... Um, really drill down and look deeper into their businesses to get more fun out of it, because that's what I'm getting. Well, my son's going to be looking for the house, he's renting at the moment. So, I'll tell him about you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much.